Hey everyone, it's Graphic back with another video, and today we're going to be taking a quick look at what you should be doing in preparation for Brimstone Sands. The first thing we're going to take a look at is Timeless Shards. So with Golden Scarabs coming to the game, with Brimstone Sands, by the way, launching October 18th, it's a huge date, a very, very exciting time for New World. October 18th is going to bring Golden Scarabs to the game, which gives you a chance at crafting two perks on weapons and uh, also armor as well. So the big thing with this is when you can see in this picture, they're going to give you the option to craft with two perks however it's going to take three timeless shards which is a decent amount and you can see here it's a great axe in this time uh, or in this picture specifically if we go look at the great axe timeless shard it costs quite a bit right now so the great axe is selling for 700 gold at the very minimum and there's two there and then it goes straight to 800 and there's really not that much on the market for less than 1300 gold people are starting to pick up on this they understand that three is quite a bit of timeless shards so people are going to start buying these for low and selling them for high coming October 18th. So I'm sure a lot are just sitting in the inventories of people and they're just waiting it out. I will say as well, you know, timeless shards are way harder to get than golden scarabs, right? You can't specifically hunt timeless shards. If you do elite POI runs or elite chest runs, I should say, in Brimstone Sands, you're going to have such a better chance at getting golden scarabs because it's a very low drop rate realistically and it's going to probably be nerfed at the very least in the I don't know two three weeks in I would say they probably do a hot fix and they nerf it because it's a very very fast drop and with all the people that are going to be doing chest runs up there I do see this price skyrocketing you know day one with the release of brimstone sands but the golden scarab over time is going to definitely diminish in value and i think that's something that a lot of us can take advantage of because golden scarabs are not going to be the hot valued item at that point in time it's going to come back to the timeless shards and these timeless shards are already able to be farmed by doing chest runs in this area or even doing just expeditions you can grab a lot of these that great axe sold for 700 gold well if we go to like a life staff timeless shard you're going to realize that they don't all sell for 700 gold so when we look at a life staff it's selling for about 20 gold at the very very low and i think we're going to still see life staff sell for that low because people are not really crafting new life staffs because there's such great ones out in the game already with wheel of ancients and so many others there's really no reason for people to craft life staffs most of the time. So what also sells for a lot is timeless amulets. These are actually going to sell for about 140 gold right now, which is much lower than you would assume as it is, you know, a piece of jewelry. So again, with the fire staffs, you're going to see the same thing. Fire staffs, we have a bunch of great fire staffs that dropped named. So not many people are going to be buying these timeless fire staff shards because why would you even craft one if you can just have something like, let's see, this wildfire torch, which gives you fireball impact, it gives you enchanted, and it also gives you keenly empowered. So all the greatest perks pretty much in one fire staff. Really, why would you craft one? And that's kind of the case with a lot of these different weapons. So if we take a look, I believe the ice gauntlet might be something that's a little bit harder to get exactly what you want. So let's take a look at the ice gauntlet real quick and see what uh, that one comes up as. So five gold actually is very off on that five gold for the ice gauntlet i have a pretty good one here it's not the greatest ever but there is a lot of good ice gauntlets that drop as well with uh crit and crit damage but i was thinking maybe if you want unending thaw on top of that but there is some items uh now that i look at it that do drop unending thaw as well so let's take a look at the armor because the armor is always going to be something that people love to kind of go for so let's take a look at some of the different gear. The first one we're going to take a look at is Timeless Cap Shards. These are selling for about 315 gold. I think just about a week ago, they were selling for 800 to 900 gold per Timeless Cap Shard. I think these armor cap shards and so many more timeless shards are going to go up in value. It's a very, very obvious kind of scheme here. Three timeless shards per craft. Golden scarabs are a very, very easy drop compared to timeless shards because you can't farm specific timeless shards. So again, it's a very obvious concept here. I just want to make sure you guys kind of understand the value in some of these shards and why you should probably be holding on to them until after October 18th and then dumping them on the market when you aren't actually crafting that specific item let's say you're a heavy user and you have all these timeless cap shards october 18th rolls around there's going to be people buying these for much higher prices so definitely dump them right back on the market and hold on to them until then i will say this isn't a guaranteed thing so if you guys you know if you guys are 
a little bit low on gold, maybe just sell them now and, you know, have that gold now because it's not guaranteed, but I do think this is going to take place. So timeless shards for spear, nine gold. This is probably going to go up in value just a little bit. Um, but the biggest thing, like I said, right now, I think gear is the thing to stack up on. So cap shards, if we go down a little bit farther, you can see greaves, you can see pants. Let's go take a look at pants. So pants, these are light pants, 467 gold a piece. And then you can also see the timeless shoe shards. So this is all the light gear in timeless form and timeless shard form. So to craft a single light boot right now, you're going to have the cost of three timeless shoe shards, which is what, you know, you're looking at basically 1450, 1400 in gold there with taxes and everything. So 1400 is crazy for just the three timeless shards. People are going to pay much, much more than that though with the idea of being able to craft your best in slot finally. So just keep this in mind, guys. This is just a little quick tip for the Brimstone Sands launch. If you guys like today's video, make sure to like the video, subscribe to the channel, and turn notifications on. I'll keep you guys up to date with all the newest kind of ideas and thoughts on the Brimstone Sands launch and what you guys should be doing in preparation. Thank you guys again. I'll see you all in the next one.